Hey everybody, I wanna show you today because I got some cool video from some training that I just did about what the photonic barrier is and why I recommend having an incredibly bright handheld flashlight as part of your self-defense toolkit. So we're gonna just look, I was at the Surefire Shoot House Bonanza this past week and uh, we got 30 hours of training with the guys at Forge Tactical. John Chapman, John Spears, Steve Fisher were our primary instructors, and we were primarily, primarily working on uh, assaulting structures, so like SWAT cop stuff. But I got this piece of footage from a GoPro camera that I was wearing while I was playing Opposition Force. We were using UTM Sims rounds, and um, I got a chance to be one of the bad guys. Now in this particular video, what you're gonna see is on the GoPro, you're gonna see I'm actually not a threat. I am an unknown contact though. So they have to recognize me, they have to see what's going on for me, and then deal with me appropriately. But what I really want you to pay attention to as you see this, we'll walk through it a couple of times, is what we call the photonic barrier, how little I can see when that those photons are on my eyeballs. And then we'll learn some lessons about how that might apply in your daily carry. Hey man, be cool. Hey, show me your hand. Be, be cool, man, be cool. Show me your other hand. Be cool, man, be cool. Walk towards the light. Walk towards the light. Be cool, man. Walk towards the light. Keep coming. Be cool, man. Towards the light. Don't I walk towards the light. You, you, hold you, the stairs, right, you hold the stairs. We're gonna okay. stay right here, bro. Right here. Right here, man. Hey dude. Hey dude. Listen to me. Come in here. I got the stairs. Here you go. Turn right around. Back hand behind the back. So I'm sitting in the back corner of this room and you can see that they're searching, but I can't see any of them. And the first time that I can right there, you can see that photonic barrier right away. I can see a light, but I can't see anything else behind that light. In this case, they have handheld lights on, so I can't even tell necessarily that there's somebody behind that light, but he starts recognizing me and he starts giving me commands. And again, just look, you can't see really anything past that doorway until I put my hand up in the way. You notice once I put my hand up in the way, then I can see a little bit, and of course that's angled at the camera right now, but if it was in front of my eyes instead, I might be able to see a little bit, but not where the light is coming from. It's very important that that bright light creates that photonic barrier that I can't see past. I don't get any bounced light if that light's coming at me. I can see away from it a little bit, but only when it's not being covered. You can see right here, as it's about 10 yards away from me at that point, that where that light is, I have no idea of anything else going on around it. I can see down into the corners a tiny bit up to the right, just a little bit that you can see there. And now you notice I actually have two lights on me here. I couldn't even really see the second light, which is to the right right now. My hands are up and again, notice that nothing around where this light is is visible to me. There's no way I would have been able to shoot a gun at that. I wouldn't have been able to even look at it in reality. Now, as it keeps going right here, I actually recognize I have four lights on me. So that photonic barrier is not only about what's coming right at me, but what is else is around because it's so overwhelming as the op for that I didn't even notice what was going on until those guys already had the drop on me. This is why that photonic barrier, very bright light, is highly, highly important. So like I said, incredibly bright, impossible to see, and you can see right through that, that if that light is on me, now when I was able to put in front of my eyes, when I was able to shield my eyes, then you could see just around the edges that I didn't have that photonic barrier, and I could see just a little bit more, but then I couldn't see my target because whatever uh, my hand was over, I couldn't see anymore. And that's why if you have a really bright handheld light, you can even see it here on the video, I'm recording on an iPhone 7 Plus, that if I'm searching with a light, and I hit that light right there, you see the photonic barrier show right up, that there it comes, and you can just see it just wash right out and the camera software is trying not to do that so understanding how to use a light this takes you going to class you got to actually get in a class and know how to use it no this isn't a surefire light they're going to send us some lights we got to use some prototypes that they have they're really good and I actually was really happy with them so bright handheld light I really recommend for inside structures especially a thousand lumens or more. I'm gonna have more footage for you that shows you that you will not wash out your vision with a thousand lumens. We were doing it with eight people, eight man teams all week long last week. Thousand plus lumen right, lights on our rifles. Nobody had any kind of problems with blindness or spots or anything like that. But for now, I want you to know that's what photonic barrier is. That's why I want you to have the brightest light you can on your person.